Welcome guys in this new lecture of digital system design lab session using multisim. In today's lecture we'll see the operation of D flip flop and verify it using waveform. So for this let's bring the components first. So I need this input 0 or 1 then I need digital clock for clock input then I need indicator to indicate the output for this I'll be using this probe let's take this red color probe and then let me check this to all groups and write D flip flop so here it is D let me bring this here okay so these are the basic components and now to verify the waveform we have to display the waveform so for this multisim provides with an option of oscilloscope so here if you see it is written here oscilloscope let me click and bring it here now let's do the necessary connections so let me connect zero to the input clock to the clock pulse and the output of d flip flop will be connected to this terminal the channel a uh, we can connect this also to here or we can leave this probe section let's just connect it and see now I want to verify the operation of D flip-flop and how the input changes with respect to clock so let's connect this B channel to the clock we can connect this to A channel also so there is no issue now I have connected this A channel of CRO or oscilloscope to the output of flip-flop and this B channel to the input of clock and the remaining terminal will be connected to ground so let's click here and if in power sources there is one ground option let's just connect it so that's it this is the connection that we need for our work let me change this value to say 200 hertz and now if I click on this and then click on this we can see the output here the waves if I click on this reverse the background will change to white and we can see more clearly so now here what is happening this is clock input going to channel B let's separate the input and output waveform so here if you see channel B there is Y position if I click on this and move it up upward so this is my clock and this is my input okay so if I change it to 1 let's change it to 1 so now you see the output has changed again let's change it to 0 again let's change to 1 okay we can also do one more thing let me stop this simulation okay so there is one another way to get the input and that will help us to understand the waveform in more comfortable way so here is one function generator let me click this here and bring it here now what I'll do I'll remove this and I'll connect this plus terminal to the D flip-flop input if I double click on this function generator we can see that it provides us with three different types of waveforms sinusoidal triangular and pulse wave now I need pulse wave because it is more close related to zeros and one let me change the frequency to say 500 hertz and duty cycle to 75 that's it done and now uh, let it be 200 hertz for the time being and see what happens let's run this and now if you see the waveform is changing let me drag this X to reflect more clearly okay so up one upper waveform is of clock pulse and this is our input signal input signal is a pulse wave so it is continuously changing to 0101 according to the clock one more thing we can also do here let's do that we can change the color also we can change the color of the wire so that we can clearly visualize the effects on the output so let me click here on the wire and here is one option segment color just check it choose any color of your choice I am selecting blue the then press ok and if you see this is the clock pulse wire it is blue color 
output is red color you can interchange the colors also as per your convenience now let's run this and see now it is clearly you can see the blue color clock pulse this is the input signal now let's analyze this for the time being and just okay so if you see here what is happening what is more important now this is a clock pulse of positive edge triggered because here is no bubble it means that clock is positive edge triggered and it means that any transition in the input will take place when the clock changes its state from positive to negative and you can see here also if you see you can see here this is the higher edge of clock it means that clock is rising to positive direction again clock is rising to positive direction and you can see here input is going from low to high state when clock is going upwards that is positive edge triggered take some another section here like this again see clock is going from down to up that is positive edge triggered and at the same time input is changing its state from up to down or high to low it means that whenever clock is changing from negative to positive or we can say when the clock is positively edge triggered then the input is doing its transition input signal is changing from low to high or high to low so this is the basic operation of positive edge triggered d flip flop in the similar manner you can verify the operation of rs flip flop or jk flip flop or t flip flop by looking at the waveforms that's it for this lecture and we'll meet in the next lecture thank you